And welcome to Pennycook Park, an alternate venue for Hibernian for the final game of the season between sides up in second and fourth. Not quite the title duels of previous years, but always good rivals and good games in these two. And looking forward to a good contest here to round out the SWPL1 campaign. Gallagher to take. Mullen up high, gets a bit of distance on that. Chinchilla. Got plenty of headway. Good switch across here for Tyler Dodds. Sutty turning defending into attack. Over the top of the head, Chinchilla trying to get the touch, but I'll just run away from her foot. Boster and pace from one end to the other. Davidson trying to help it forward. Now near with good play. McGregor. And gives that to Claire Walsh. Ever present in that back line all season with Jenna Clark. And she has ball cut out by Hunter. A bit, a bit of space there for Gallagher and Aaron Clacker's coming out. Got the ball initially and then reclaimed. Brave stuff and decisive stuff from Aaron Clackers played in midweek and starting again this afternoon. And there's space found and Clackers had to read the situation, did so really well. Foley. Firing one. I'm not a million miles away from Megan Foley. Looked up and Seen the space for the dugout goal. Doesn't score too many a season, does Megan Foley, but there is usually one or two that are absolute belters. Dodds, advantage played here. Grant, two or three green jerseys to try and fend round. Dodds will try and recover and skips by. Davidson with the header, but can't get it on target. Good dovetailing Dodds and Grant on that far side. Dodds then re picked up and good ball in, but couldn't be skewed on goal. <laughs> Eddie. That's a terrific ball here for Muir who collects, having to watch Mullen. Comes a control to here for Adams in the spin and it's a decent dig at goal as well. Had the time to try and figure out the gap to spin and take the shot. At that tight angle, Clackers had it met in red. One of the best chances we've had in this first period. Guys on there, Grant Knight and Chia looking to continue the run up against Notley. Good strength from Chinchia. Here's Grant. Cross for Lauren Davidson. And it's into the side netting. I think it was tight and one or two thought in the crowd it was in. Try through to Davidson on the other side of the box and just couldn't nestle it in that corner. Tight space. Reigns 0 0. Hunter bounces down for Adams and comfortable for Clackers again. Just the space opened up for Haley Adams. Eddie wants more from the free kick. Peeling away here for Kavanagh. That was a big chance for Colette Kavanagh. Scored Peter's Hill. Taylor in the year. Tremendous strike. That was a good chance, big chance the second half for the home tight side here. Nil nil it remains. It's Maddy Fulton then. Up go the heads. Bowled up off Grant. Farley. Grant. 
Farley again. Grant trying to flash it across. It's halfway by Eddie. Here's Walsh. It's Walsh, but into the hands of Gabby English. Someone managed to poke it through the bodies. Comes off for English. Walsh hasn't scored since the opening day of the league season. I think one in the closing stages of the final game of the league season. It's all rather tight again here. And Kavner and Herbers won it back. And now here's Ellis Notley. It's Walsh with the challenge. It's Adams across, a coil across, I should say. Looking for Lex Adams that was waiting. And Kavner gets it back. Here's Clackers at the near post and Herbs threatening here late. Just become a bit strange as we're into stoppage time. And there is the final whistle on the season. And SWPL won and a goalless draw between Hibs and Glasgow City. First draw they've had since towards the end of last season and it was 0-0. Uh, similar kind of game with just bitty chances and moments throughout but no one really perhaps deserving the three points on the day to round off the season for these two in the league for Hibs it is their final game of the season City will have to build for the next fortnight towards the Scottish Cup final at Tynecastle. So hopefully plenty of City fans will be making the trip there to support the side against Celtic but in Pennycook it's on even it's 0-0 here <laughs>